Hey everybody, my name is Timothy with Timothy's Mobile Home Tours and today I'm gonna to be taking you on a little journey. We're gonna go visit Kittner's Modular Homes up in Scranton, Pennsylvania and check out a really beautiful modular home, has a whole bunch of different upgrades. And along the way, we're gonna play a little game. This game is how many times did I say like in this video? If you can figure that out at the end of the video, I'll give you a high five. So, you ready? Let's go. So this is the outside of the home. This is a three bedroom, two bath. Beautiful chalet style home, I guess is what you'd call it. And this is one of those that we just happened to find. Just got back up from our little trip to South Carolina. And man, I tell you what, I'm freezing. Holy cow. I came up here with a little t-shirt on, you know, my little polo shirt. And I was like, oh, I'll be fine. And uh, come to find out, man, it is cold. Take me back to 70 degree weather. Anyway, so coming around to the back side, you do have a back door right here. This actually goes into your mud room. Now with this home, as with most of the homes here, they're meant to be set on a foundation. So you will have that uh, one little closet area that allows you to, it's not really a closet, you know what I mean? It's the stairway down to a basement if you were to have one. Pretty neat, nice vinyl siding. And we'll go ahead and go up the ramp and onto the inside. I already got the door open for you. I poked my head in here to check it out and I realized I need to go get a sweater on. So how about that? Oh, and this is just one of those, if you had smell-o-vision right now, oh my gosh, you would love the smell in here. Another one of those things that I can't really describe what it is. Whatever the sin is though, they got it smelling good. All right, so when you first walk in, obviously you're greeted with the living room, little dining room area and your kitchen. This is your front entryway. And then you have a little coat closet right here. The door's opening on me. And then the floors, really pretty color on the floors. I like them. And they have the baseboard heat. Huge windows in the living room that also bring in a lot of that nice light. Really pretty. It's kind of like a combination of like a log cabin without that exterior look of a log cabin, you know what I mean? Nice little dining space. With your chandelier up above it, and it's not one of those that hang real close to the table. And I love looking up over the island right here. This light fixture, I think that's really neat and I like that a lot. And you have the island, which seems to be like some type of granite space for some chairs. I've never, I haven't seen this little raised part right there. I think that's pretty nice. Kind of separates your eating area from wherever you're, like your prep area, I guess. Oh man, huge drawers. And there are the soft clothes. Look at that. And the cabinets are soft clothes too. That's what I'm talking about. So a lot of space in there. And you got two of those. Ooh, fancy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so this one doesn't have any appliances in it currently, but 
Looks like your stove would go right here. And then you have this big old, really deep farmhouse sink with the undermount. See, I'm learning my terms. With the undermount sink, <laughs> whoop, whoop. And then a beautiful window to your backyard. Your little corner cabinet with nice glass insert. Should we test it and see if that soft glows? Yeah, that's nice. And then you got a Lazy Susan right here, which are always nice. And then right here you would have your refrigerator. I love the ceilings in here. Really pretty. All right. Now coming back towards the back of the house. Again, this right here would be the stairway down to your basement. And then this is the back door that you saw uh, when we were outside. This is your utility room. So you have your dryer and washer hookup separated by another little table and a whole bunch of storage space in here. Not soft clothes in here. But and then coming further down, this is your first bathroom. Guest bathroom whatever you refer to it as. You got the medicine cabinet. Shower tub combo. Toilet. And another little heater right here in the bathroom, keep your tushy nice and warm. And then behind the door, you have a space for all your linens. And across the hall from that is your first bedroom. Now with this, all of these homes seem to be super customizable and I, I'll put up a, a floor plan but this is one of those type of places where you come here, you kind of find the, the type of home that you're interested in. And then from there, you, you build it based off of what you want. So don't ding me too hard on, I'm going to try and get you some prices on these. I'm going to go talk to the lady right after I tour these. And I'll get you some kind of price. And then the floor plan as well. But uh, just keep that in mind. That this is not going to be like a, a mobile home manufacturer where they're all cookie cutter and really the same type. This one is definitely, you know, build your own. Like a little Build-A-Bear. And then your closet in this one. I think that's really the hard part about showing the modular homes is so many of them are super customizable, especially with these smaller manufacturers. So, all right, into your master bedroom. Nice little walk-in closet. I like the closets that are all combined, but they have separate spaces. So you can like hang stuff up and then you can put your foldables or shoes or something up also on a rack. And then 
in your master bathroom, which there's no tub in this one, in this model. It is just a shower. And you have a single vanity of these soft clothes. No. <laughs> medicine cabinet and your shower so the tile goes all the way up which is nice your toilet linen closet. I guess their shower curtain came down. Awkward. All right, so what'd y'all think about that? Those cathedral ceilings were probably my favorite feature of this home. I also like the soft closed cabinets and uh, drawers. I haven't found any soft closed cabinets before, so this happened to be a first for me. Um, but let's do a quick little recap. This is model number three by Kittner's Modular Homes. It is the Ranch Chalet, and it is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,462 square foot home. Now it comes with a whole variety of standard features, which I'll make sure to put up on mobilehometrends.com for you. You can find that link down in the description below. So this home comes with a whole bunch of standard features as well as what we've just seen. It has a bunch of different additional upgrades and options as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the base price. If you were just to go with the standard features in this home, you're gonna expect to pay right now about $238,000. Now that price can change depending on the day, I guess. That's what it sounds like to me uh, with the current conditions around the market, not just in this manufacturer, but in pretty much all manufacturers, the price is very fluid. All right, so the home that we just toured with all those options and upgrades comes in at a hefty $271,000. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. All right, last little bit. How many times did I sit liking this video? I lost count. This is ridiculous. I guess I liked it a lot. So if you guessed it right, high five. If you didn't, I'll still give you a high five. Anyway, guys, as always, my name is Timothy, and I'll see you in the next one.